At UNL, experts talked about the changing pattern of global trade. They say they have several areas of concern, which could cause a lot of uncertainty for farmers here in Nebraska. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more details in our top story tonight. Most people don't know it, but everything they eat, wear, um, what they're using in their daily lives is probably in some way crossed a border at least once or twice or three times or more in the case of your automobile. Global trade connects the world. It fuels economic growth, supports jobs, and helps provide families with affordable goods and services. On Wednesday at UNL, experts discussed the importance of global trade and several concerns which could affect the U.S. economy over the next few years. They say one concern Nebraska farmers should be worried about is Mexico's ban of GMO corn and the use of glyphosate, a herbicide used in farming. McDaniel says Mexico is their largest export market and it would affect nearly all of Nebraska's corn farmers. That could uh, dismantle a lot of Nebraska's farming sector because again, Mexico is the largest export market for Nebraska's farmers, especially corn farmers, um, you know, all of, all of uh, U.S. corn farmers for that matter. Kenneth Smith, former chief negotiator for the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, said Mexico imports over 19 million tons of yellow corn from the U.S. and is a big importer of wheat, rice, and meat products as well. The government there in place right now is uh, taking an ideological position against genetically modified organisms. So anything coming from agricultural biotechnology, GMOs in corn, cotton seed, uh, soybeans is uh, being challenged by certain areas of the Mexican government. He says Mexico has been importing genetically modified corn from the U.S. since the 1990s and there hasn't been any effects to the environment or human health. Smith also says there are thousands of products derived from corn and corn syrup and it would be detrimental to both the U.S. and Mexico to have a dispute over agricultural exports when prices are already high. It's very important uh, for, for Nebraska because being such a breadbasket to the U.S. And, and to the rest of the world, Mexico is the number one destination for all of these products. McDaniel said if Mexico goes through with this ban, one short-term effect would be a surplus of corn here, which could lower prices over the next couple of years. She says they're looking to the Biden administration to pressure Mexico to explain what its aims are and prevent negative effects. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. And as for Mexico's current plans, the country wants to phase out genetically modified corn completely by 2024.